Today I have a super fun Blender tutorial. I'm going to also be providing the blend file you need to follow along, but I'm going to be teaching you how to do shape keys in a Blender. I'm going to be using Blender 4.2. And if you don't know what shape keys are, essentially, I'll quickly show you. You can create a basis, which is just, you click a button to do that. And then you add all of these different shape keys that you can add. And essentially inside of these shape keys, you make an edit with the mesh. And then what you can do, you can grab that edit and you can drag a value slider and it'll compare between your bases, the difference, right? So this is a really cool way of adding more controls to your character. It's one thing to rig a character, but you're gonna sometimes need shape keys to do more complicated things. So for example, what if we wanted to do a blink here, right? What if I wanted to blink the, the right eyes? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. And um, obviously these smiles here are a bit extreme. I, you wouldn't push it all the way. Um, if you were using these value sliders, but you get the idea. It gives you a lot of simple little controls. Um, so this is gonna be a fantastic beginner's tutorial. If you're new to Blender, I guarantee you, you can follow this tutorial. It's not complicated. And I will be providing this blend file here. And I will ask if you can, just give the video a like, subscribe, that really helps me out. And also in the description below, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one Blender tutoring. Um, I'm offering 120 minute sessions. So if anybody's interested in that and you wanna do more one-on-one -on -one training, I now have that available. Um, that's also in the description below. Anyway, I think I've said enough. Let's uh, jump into um, this tutorial. So let's say for a second, you don't have your own 3D model to work along with. You can go into the description below where I do have a link to my Gumroad um, um, character head here and you can just put in zero dollars if you want if you want it for free or if you want to make a donation that's completely up to you but just one way or another just make sure you have some sort of a model to work along with or your own character in this case we're going to be working with a symmetrical character so it's the same on both sides now one of the reasons that actually matters in this case is because we're going to be looking at some features that allow you to make edits on one side and then mirror over the shape keys to the other side. I guess it depends on what type of workflow you're doing. But anyway, we're gonna select the character. We're gonna go over to this um, place over here, this little triangle, green triangle, and that's our object data properties. You're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna go over here to where it says shape keys. And then over here, you can see it's empty at the moment. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click on plus. And whenever we click plus for the first time, we're gonna see something called the bases. So essentially this is our reference mesh. This is the mesh we don't touch. Okay, so if we go now and hit plus again, it creates our first shape key. So I'm just gonna quickly show you an example here. So say we take this key we've created now and we go into edit mode by pressing tab. If I were to now go ahead, for example, and just grab this eyelid, and you don't have to follow this, I'm just quickly showing. If I grab this eyelid and just bring it kind of like down, right like that and then i go back into object mode i can now take this key one and i can take this value and drag it up okay now it's doing this because it's looking at where the basis is so if i take it's it's like if you go grab the basis here and you go to edit mode you can see this is the position of all of these um, vertices and then if you go to key two you can see this is where the position of these verts are what you don't want to do with shape keys is actually um cut or extrude or remove the mesh so you don't want to go and grab for example the extrusion tool and extrude something right because now you're adding more points and it'll mess up the basis shape keys are strictly for only moving um, points around that already exist and referencing between the different keys okay it's kind of blending between different positions of the mesh so that's very important to keep in mind so i'm going to go back into object mode with this key one i'm just going to go ahead and remove it we still have the basis here. I'm gonna go ahead and click plus. And also make sure at any point that you don't accidentally edit the basis. You don't wanna do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click on key one. And let's double click on this. Let's say um, this key one is gonna be smile. And it's always important for organization purposes to try and keep in mind what side you're doing. So what I'm gonna to do to the left side. So I'm gonna go underscore L and I'm just gonna hit enter. So now we've got smile L. So we're gonna tap into edit mode and we're gonna to go to our vertex select option and select the corner of the mouth. Now you might be thinking, well, that's the right side, right? That's my right side, but it might be your right side on the monitor, but we always work in the perspective of our 3D character. So this is the left side of our character. So always keep that in mind. It's the same with rigging. It's a common mistake people make um, when they first get started is they think about their right versus the 
right of the character. So we're gonna select the corner of the mouth with the smile one selected, or the smile underscore L. And we're gonna make sure proportional editing up here is enabled. And if you want to, you can go connect it only. If there is any loose mesh in here like teeth, that'll help that not to move along. Now in this case, this doesn't have teeth or a tongue, so we're not gonna worry about that, but just keep that in mind if you do have a model with teeth or inside parts. So we're gonna select the corner of the mouth here. I'm gonna go G to move it. And we're gonna make sure our proportional editing is just affecting everything on this side. We don't want it to affect anything past the middle over here because that can mess things up because then it's breaking the symmetry a little bit. So we're gonna grab this vertex. We're gonna go G, move it up and out just a little bit to create a smile. And then very importantly, you also wanna go to your right orthographic view and you wanna move this cheek back a little bit because there's actually more than just that happening. It's not just going up, but it's also going back a little bit here. So we're gonna just grab this and just kind of move it like so to create a nice looking smile. There we go. Let's cut our front view, see what that looks like. Maybe a little bit too much of a dimple here, but you guys get the idea. You can take as much time as you want. Look at some references of smiles. But there we go, we now have a smile. So I'm gonna go back into object mode. And now if we go and click on the smile underscore L, you can take this value and drag it. If we go all the way at one, we get a full value. If we go all the way down, we get zero, okay? So now if you're happy with this, I might just move it up just a little bit. So now if you're happy with that smile, you can give it a, in object mode a full value. Then you can come here to this drop down and you go new shape from mix. And now with this new key selected, you can come to the drop down and you can go mirror shape key. So now if all has worked and we grab on this key too, we can go to this value and drag on it. And now we can see we have a smile happening on the other side. How cool is that? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the smile underscore L and just bring it down to zero as you can see. And I'll double click on the bottom one and go smile underscore R. And with it selected, I'm just gonna go in here and you can see it's, uh, it's a little bit messy here with the proportional editing. So I'm just gonna select the vertex here and go control plus just to grow to selection. And with the smooth tool here, you can always just come and smooth like that. And it's no big deal. And then you can click on smile.l. If you have anything in here that's a little bit messy, you can fix that as well. But that's kind of the beauty of shape keys because even after you've animated these values, you always have the ability to come in here and edit them. You can always come to smile.l and you can come here and make adjustments, which is really, really cool. How cool is that? Now keep in mind, um, we, whenever we create smiles or any shape key, we always wanna push it to the max. It doesn't mean we're gonna always animate to the max. Even just a little um, percentage like this going halfway will be enough in most cases because um, nobody really smiles that far up. So you never really have to push it all the way to the extreme. Okay, but for now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the smile.l, take it to zero, take the smile underscore r, take that to zero if it's not already. And by the way, if you ever have a whole bunch of shape keys active, you can come to this little X down here and click on it, and that'll just set everything back to zero all in one shot. So I've shown you how to do the smile. So let's go to the next step and create another shape key. Let's call this blink underscore L and let's go in here and now with our proportional editing let's select the uh, two verts on the eyelid let's go G and bring that down kind of to the halfway point once again look at references of eyes that are in a closed position if you want to get the skin folds and all that completely accurate I'm just kind of showing you technique and then I'm going to just take this eyelid here and take this up Okay, so remember, whenever it comes to human anatomy, um, it's not always what you think. You know, we think we have an idea until you actually look at some references and you realize there's a lot more complexity happening subdermally, under the skin, things you don't really ever think about. And, and capturing those details is what's really gonna give you more realism. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and close this eye. I think that looks okay. I'm gonna tab back out. So now we have a blink underscore L. Now we could actually go now and do the whole mirroring thing like we did before, but we're gonna do something a bit different. We're gonna go plus and we're gonna do the other one manually because sometimes having it exactly the same can break the realism a little bit. So we can actually rely on the fact that if we took this key four now and we called it blink underscore R, we can now rely on the fact that if we go in here, we're not gonna be able to do it 100% like we did on the other side. So we take the blink underscore R and we do this manually now. Um, you can see here that it's gonna probably be a little bit different and that's actually a good thing. So 
I'm only showing you how to symmetrize over to the other side, but sometimes it's actually handy to do things um, differently on both sides by hand and not mirror over. Because in real life, if you looked at a picture of your own eyes close, I can guarantee you that both eyelids are not gonna close in exactly the same position and they're not gonna look exactly the same. And that's kind of something that is gonna help us here doing it manually like this. I'm just gonna go like that. And by the way, it's not hard to blink anyway. Um, it's very simple just to pull the eyelids down, especially if your topo topological flow for your character mesh is set up properly, which it is in this case. We've got a nice edge flow here. So it makes the whole process um, easier. There we go. It's gonna move that up. There we go. So now we have a blink underscore R and we can close that eye. So there we have it guys. We now have a way of controlling our character's emotions a little bit. We can go to um, the smile here, give her a bit of a smile over here. How cool is that? Um, we can now go to the blink, give her a blink, um, whatever you wanna do. Um, you can always cross it out make combinations. You can always come here and click plus and make as many more things as you want. You can create maybe something that makes the ear wiggle a little bit, you know, like this. You could um, try all sorts of things, just have fun. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if I've earned a subscription, I'd really appreciate that. It helps me out on the channel and um, I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.